Hey everyone, welcome to the Rush Teeth Podcast. <laughs> I'm Gus. Hi, I'm Jordan. Hi, I'm Eric. The mic is covering my face. I am Barbara Dunkelman. And I'm Gus. Um, I told you do, where to put the mic. Do you no, all? We talked about so, Yeah, I said know where your camera is. You put it opposite. Uh, I said yeah, mine's but I didn't here. know where it was going to be when it was you on You know me. we pointed at where the microphone is. You, Amateur. Do you all ever use this ice machine that we have here? Yes. No. It's got like this fancy like I have before. cylindrical ice that's like soft. I'm sorry. It's like the 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 uh, what's it called like pellet ice. Yeah. What's it actually like? It's fancy term? ice. I call the, it I call it good ice. It's fancy ice, right, Barbara? I just call it ice. I honestly would not call it fancy ice because you get that stuff yeah. at like I don't think it's that fancy. A fast food it's restaurant. It's like Sonic, the fancy drive-in. <laughs> <laughs> you ever walk into the Sonic over on Burnett and be like, "Give me a, a big cup of uh, ice." Can't well, walk in. You, you cannot say. walk into a Sonic <laughs> burger. Um, you can't yeah. walk into a Sonic burger. Uh, mistake number one. Established. Absolutely cool. can, the one I'm They're throwing ice um, at you. No. I, uh, I, I, went, I walked by the ice maker where this is over by the snack area earlier, and it was empty. And I thought, oh, I've never, I, I don't use this ice very often, but I thought, I'm going to be a good employee. I've never filled this thing up with water before. It, the reservoir probably needs water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I opened it up. I got like a big, gla- a big cup of water from the, the filtered water thing we have to put in there. Have you ever looked in the reservoir that this thing makes ice from? Well, I, miss, I assume it gets cleaned on the reg. Wrong. Ah, Ew. no. It was, was it fucking filthy? Don't ever eat this ice. Don't ever use <laughs> really? this ice. Oh, it's it too was, late. I already. I, it was fucking disgusting oh, in there. No. Anyway, I wow. filled it with water and it made ice, and it's out there. So if anybody wants ice, help yourself. <laughs> it's nugget ice, I think is the term, right? <laughs> yeah. Nugget ice. I, I think pellet. Yeah, I was. I I, I didn't clean it because I'm a monster. Look that dirty. They're no, like yeah. small little yeah, ice cubes. They're <laughs> they're crunchy. You could eat them really easily. They look like. Like pellets, like rabbit food or something, but yeah. no, I don't know, bigger hamster food. What little rodent that you Rebecca have? Frazier chinchilla bought food. That for chinchilla us. food. There yeah. you go. More chinchilla-ish. Uh-huh. <laughs> Very so, specifically, fancy ice. It's fancy. It's, it's like, like Sonic. Water burgers, fancy ketchup. What's so fancy about it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not good. It's just regular ketchup. I'm not. A, I'm not a ketchup Isn't fan. Isn't it just in, like anyway. sweeter or something? Like they're or tangier. There's some. They have the the ketchup in the black. A container that's yeah. supposed to be like their spicy. Ca- mm-hmm. I don't. I'm not. I don't like ketchup. Where's to begin Nick with. when we need him? He would be like. That's true. Yeah. We would, very quickly got into bring it. Bring out his binder of like sauce knowledge. Yeah. Sauces yeah. and food. oh, if we're going into face jam territory. Oh, already doing it. What hey, are, Jordan? What's the reveal? Oh, oh, oh. where's the butt? You, you got it. Hang on. Jordan just learned. Whoa. We got switch forks. <laughs> We have Face Jam Switch Forks, and these are coming out, I can announce it now, on the 27th. Could I try it? Yeah. Why are you uh, promoting them now? We are, what? They're not out for until, like, next week. Okay, shut well, up. We're okay, on the podcast, shut up, shut and up, we hang have on them. and shut up, shut up and hang on. <laughs> uh, on the 27th, myself, Jordan, and Michael will be doing a live stream at 1 p.m. Central, where we will be releasing the Switch Fork, I think, at 110. So we'll be live for, like, 10 minutes, and then boom, and then it's like, we got to hit you with it, come and get it, so, check it, so come and get it. As someone, this is the first time I'm I'm holding it. I've seen it. I've seen uh-huh. Michael use it before. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, he, he's, out, he's wa- out there like swinging it around. He waves it around aggressively. He, yeah, he's threatened me a couple times with it. Yeah. In the this parking thing lot. is hefty. There is there's it's a nice weight to it. it. There's yeah. a good weight to it, but also like perfectly balanced. Make sure your hand is not in the way yes. of the fork coming out because mm-hmm. that that has a spring. Well, yeah, it's eating time. I also Whoa. like how you Isn't have to click the button to close it, so it's not. It'll be up there. Yeah. So it's got a good weight to it. Good quality. What's that weigh like? Two hundred grams. Yeah, Maybe. it's about a pound and a half. Um, <laughs> it's a good, it's so a good heft. So myself, Jordan, and Michael will be doing a live stream on the 27th at 1 p.m. Central Time. And, and I then, will uh, be doing this yes. for the rest of the show. So we have uh, Face Jam Switch Forks coming out then. So uh, there you go. I figured we announced that now. We got it all settled today. So now we're ready for it. Do you want to promote that? Oh, we got a black box down autopilot. Show. This comes out tomorrow. That's why I'm promoting it today. Yeah, because this comes is out available tomorrow. This is live, Tuesday, so, the 19th. So people have already. So when this comes out, out by the time on the website, this, they can immediately so go to store.receive.com really, I mean, and buy on, an and autopilot when it's black on box YouTube, down shirt. When it's on YouTube, everyone's I didn't step it. on you promoting <laughs> your thing, <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> buy a black box down shirt. This is the cast. Do you have anything to promote, Barbara? Um, I'm wearing a 30 more yeah, minute shirt. No, no, I love that podcast. Mm, something you're doing. Oh, something I'm doing. Always Open's coming back, baby. Whoa! Uh, I, I already mentioned it <laughs> briefly on the podcast. But yeah, we're bringing Always Open back. It's going to be uh, a little different this time around. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a little more audio focused. We're still going to have video components to it, though. Um, and it's going to be just same vibes that you're used to, but just kind of fresh take on the show. Yeah. See what happens when you plug everything at the top? Now you have plenty of time just to hang out. They don't have to worry about it. Like the end, oh, did we remember this? Achievement Hunter Live, uh, <laughs> off topic, in New York next week. Uh, get tickets at rtx. Are you going to that? See, I 
find out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I might be in New York. Hey, if you're in New York, buy a ticket and come see me. You. Uh, maybe. Uh, okay, Gus, now you can, now we got all that stuff out of the way and you can start the show. I'm talking to chat. Samuel Aubrey. I give him a name for his barbershop quartet. What is it? The Hot Pockets. Ooh, oh, that's, that's a good one. That was not bad. I wanted, wanted to make fun of it. But that's good. I'm good at naming things like Anima. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, should we talk about that? I don't know. Is did? there? Is, like, I, I, I feel like people are going to find. I put the can't. privacy on mm, it. Okay. Hmm. I feel like we there, could. Do you want? Do you want to? Did you leave? Did you leave a geocache to the name? <sighs> do you want to? Okay. Here's the thing. If we're about to reveal this thing. You can't, and you find this thing, you can't spread it around. This has to be just for you. You can message Gus directly and say, hey, pretty cool. And that's it. But that's it. You can't spread it around. You want, are you going to, you want to talk about it? So we were thinking about yes. domains before this website started. Mm -hmm. And, uh. This OSI being before, Rooster Teeth. Before RTP started right mm -hmm. now, like, like what, 10, 15 minutes well, ago. Well, Squarespace oh. is one of our sponsors. And I said, oh. I should register the real name that Anma stands <gasps> for. I should register that domain. Is there a way to search? And you haven't given it away yet. Right? By, uh -uh. by name of who owns a domain? I put, can, can I search well, Gusserola? I put the privacy you... on so that like it's not like... Well, so excited. You probably won't be hmm. able to answer this, but has someone gotten it right yet? No, but I have seen... I've seen another one that was really close. Really? Is it so a, there have been two that have been incredibly close. Do you close know what it now. is? No, I have no idea. Is I made domain? a really good guess this last week. We did an episode on Friday that will be out for next week. And I made the guess of animals. And I thought that was a good guess. That's a good guess. guess. It is, and it's not You know right. what? It is a good guess. Thank you. Because like, you think it's going to be a bunch of different words. Yeah. And we've since found out that it is fewer than four. <laughs> <laughs> it does each letter stand for a word? There is no word that starts with the letter N. But like it no is part of the first real word, right? word? Or like There it's, is, is it a no word, word that starts with the letter N. See, it's like the fucking Riddler with this guy. I fucking hate it. <laughs> we're gonna guess like the it. The Riddler with this guy. <laughs> we're gonna guess it, and it's gonna be the scene for the Batman where he goes, "No, no, I If it is, if it is like the scene in in the Batman, uh -huh. is it in Spanish? My God, <laughs> is, it in, is it in correct Spanish? You are El Rata. There is no word. That My God, with this Ed. guy has five hundred followers. He, what, Holy he's a shit! Fringe monster. <laughs> what the fuck. What does it mean when you say no word starts with? What we is it a dot com domain at least? Like is the first I don't word to say that. Yeah, I don't want to say. Don't yeah, say. I don't want to no, say. I'm not even. So what we've surmised is that the first word starts with the letter A, and the letter N is within the first word. That's what we think. Within, but not immediately following the A. Don't know. <sighs> See what I mean? <laughs> huh. Okay. Uh huh. So I guess animals. And oh, okay, I can yeah. see that. Because all the letters line up, Barbara. But a then M M A and Ma. Well, I, this implies that M stands for a word and A stands for a That's word. That's the implication. However, Gus is KG Riddler style. So Riddler. Maybe in season game. three, he'll tell us that yeah. M is like. Oh, that's right. We're a silent. An An Anma's inside all of us. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. We're a seasonal. Podcast. The M is silent, yeah. like mnemonic. <laughs> <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> it's a W. It's upside down. <laughs> Yo, shit! If you uh, if you write it in this font it's and look circle. at it upside down. I was trying to think if there's like a word that's like an apostrophe, like it would be like milady, but with an. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> milady oh, and milady and milady. Uh, it's a fun. We did an episode this last Friday. But we had to do it in the afternoon because uh, Jeff's calendar was so backed up. And he's like, this is the only time I can do it. And we're in the middle of a production. Can we say what we're in the middle of production of? Does it matter? Uh, no. I, w I wouldn't. No. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Uh, we're in the middle mm -hmm. of a production right now. And um, that's Jeff why was, that's why I'm here. Jeff was <laughs> no, you're here because I forgot to ask anyone to be on the podcast. And it was Saturday. <laughs> I was, and, and we were already texting. Happened? And I was like, oh. <laughs> why don't you go on the All podcast? Right, cool. uh, and then that's also why you guys there. Okay. And then yeah. Eric was like, <laughs> hey, you too. Yeah. Uh, so we did a remote episode for Anma that comes out next week, and I think it was a really cool episode because it ended up being about, usually it's kind of like what's in like this little pocket of where we go get like a cup of coffee. And this other, like this new episode that'll come out is more like really talking about restaurants and bars from all over. It just goes in so many different directions. Oh, man. Gus has a grudge with P. Terry's I wasn't familiar with. I don't like P. Terry's. 
You don't like, like the, you don't like their, like food? their food or the design oh. of their buildings. Listen to Anma in the next episode of Anma to find out this Sunday. I yeah. actually have been listening to them. I finally listened oh, really? to uh, the one you guys did at RTX where <laughs> <laughs> you, the, someone, the leaked leaked that, someone leaked that audio. We're going to yeah, find them. Who did it? It is leaked. It's on. It's on I know the who, podcast platform. No, who we're gonna find it? them. We'll find. It was you, the Riddler. <laughs> they put too much audio texture on there. They were trying to <laughs> copy our style. It sounded like the person recording it. What like had the microphone by them? Yeah. <laughs> they did. I could hear them like swallowing, yeah. and, like, breathing. It sounded like it was recorded on someone's phone that they somebody, put on the table. I think somebody order. made a topic on the subreddit that was like, "I don't like when they do these live episodes. They always sound so bad." Listen to Anma this week, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. "Not a good example, man." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. probably the worst point. example. Bad example. Uh, R- RTP and off topic those weeks. Great examples of why they work. Uh, not that one. Well, Face Jam. Face Jam was great. a great episode. Oh, Face Jam was so good that week. It was. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, there wasn't the equipment to record yeah. our mics. <laughs> so someone probably recorded you on a phone. So, yeah. and then it got, and then I they mean, leaked, leaked it. They, they hacked our website and they oh uploaded gosh, I it. Crazy. It. I hope they didn't get access to the Anma domain. <laughs> 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 they know the secrets. No! They know what it stands for. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's cool to hear uh, that RTX story you told uh, from 2015 uh, when we had to evacuate the building. Insane. Dude, yeah. yeah. Crazy. I, I had actually forgotten about that. That It was so like kind of weird at the at the moment. And then, like, the rest of the weekend, I kind of forgot about oh, it. Oh, yeah. I forgot about, about it immediately. Yeah. Guess who didn't forget about yeah. it for years? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can see, <laughs> I can see why. PTSD from that. But uh, God. I just remember it being the joke. I was like, can't believe Mega64 pulled the fire out. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was the, that was the, the meme yep. for it. Yep. Man, that... I think I've only missed a couple of RTXs. A fun convention. I really liked it this year. It was great. I got, like, nothing but good things to say about it. I love the size of it. Like, we could just hang out. Like, we just yeah. hang out mm-hmm. at the Voodoo booth and, like... yeah. Took pictures and stuff. Man, it's fucking I think great. Brian Gar was there the whole time. I showed <laughs> Brian Gar, so we got done with RTP, and uh, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna walk over to the Voodoo booth, and he's like, Oh, where's that? And I went, Oh, you haven't found the booth that gives free beer? And he went, Where? And then I took him there, and he was that is that was it planted his, his fucking flag. Did he wear your it. sunglasses the whole time? Oh, too? absolutely. Excellent. Yes. Okay, they were Eric. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I gave him. <laughs> those. Yeah, he had those. They look good on him. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he. He looks good in, in that kind of sunglass where it's like that big frame with like the colored lens. They look like look. the Robert Downey Jr. glasses. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. That kind of style. Yeah. But, yeah, no, I agree. It was like the perfect size this mm-hmm. year to come back to an in-person RTX. It mm-hmm. didn't feel like too overwhelming, but it also felt like, oh, shit, I've missed this. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it was great. Yeah. You're able to make time for everyone, right? Like, yeah. you get like, I don't know, you go to like PAX or something or you go to like a larger convention where it's like, oh, it's like 50,000 people. And it's like, all right, good luck meeting anyone like there's just no fucking time you're carting yeah. from one thing to the other whatever this it was like i can just kind of like post up on the floor somewhere people would like stop and go hey can i get a picture then a line would form and it's like i'll just see this through mm-hmm. and so i'd just be there for like an hour just taking pictures and stuff i don't know if i saw jordan once <laughs> at rts i uh i i'm rusty with conventions because i was there i was there on saturday that's when all my stuff was mm-hmm. and uh well i was wiped out by the oh, end really? of it yeah yeah um, it was like just a bunch of stuff back to back to back. Yeah, it was like everything was dense, and I was like not used to going to conventions. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, fucking uh, went to uh, Casino El Camino oh, after yeah. after everything, and was like falling asleep halfway through my burger. Oh, and it was wow. like seven p.m. Which, which like, burger did you get? Uh, I'm a I'm a KC burger guy. Okay. Mm. That one's my go-to. Um, the Amarillo. I'm a Buffalo burger. Buffalo burger's good. Buffalo burger's the best. Yeah. Yeah, I was spent after RTX too. Yeah. Like more so than I am always spent after it. <laughs> but like I think I had twelve or thirteen events that I was part of. <sighs> Fuck. And I I remember thinking like either I'm really rusty at conventions or I haven't done a convention since I was I. 30, I guess. Mm. With the last RTX, I was 30 years old. Now I'm 33. I had the same like, realization where I was like, oh no, I'm getting old. Yeah, my body can't handle yep. this anymore. Yeah, 30, huh? It's, yeah. Uh, must, be, that- must be real, <laughs> real tough, huh? Wow. Yeah. Turn 32 soon. <laughs> oh. um, not to heat praise on you, Gus, but... That's please, good. Please don't. <laughs> but I am also a big fan of, of the Anima podcast. Oh, it's 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 very good. It's rare for me to uh, compliment anyone in this company, uh, <laughs> but uh, it's, it, it's, it's been a lot of fun to do. And uh, I think going to different locations has helped it. I have yeah. an idea that I've told Eric that I want to do yeah. for like a special episode. Uh, and I think even when we do home recordings, like we did for this for the one that comes out next week, that um, just takes on a real different uh, different vibe. Yeah, it's uh... every and every episode. I'm always like, shit. What are we talk about? Oh, <laughs> it, it, like. 
I that's, always that's keep... me with Face Jam. I was like, <laughs> man, I hope hope we can pull something out. You, I feel like you can like put Michael in a room and he'll just go. Oh, yeah. yeah, and, and then and then you well, just you guys have a subject. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. Sometimes there's a subject, and then sometimes we're we're reading the uh, <sighs> the press material, and Michael makes a joke, and then we riff on that for about 15 minutes. Oh. <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> I don't know why that podcast keeps coming back around to. Dunking on Wes Ellis for liking licorice pizza. <laughs> licorice pizza in the Green Knight. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck is licorice pizza? It's that pizza? movie that by movie? Paul Thomas uh, Anderson. Oh, I thought you actually meant licorice no, pizza. No, no, no. no. Like, he might. Awful. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's he's, yeah, he'll freak. Um, I don't know why, but we I, just keep going back in a circle on that. I can't bring myself to watch licorice pizza. D- honestly, I have no interest. I really, I love Paul Thomas Anderson. I don't think he turns in a bad movie. I think he does a great job creating like an atmosphere and he's a great director and and i do think he does a great job with licorice pizza i don't think it's worth your time and i don't think you'll enjoy it okay that's it th- th- that's i don't think it's a bad movie i don't think you're the audience for it i'm gonna watch it pretty yeah, wrong fair. okay <laughs> <laughs> you show me uh it is i i left uh i left ultimately disappointed and then right after like within like a week after i think boogie nights was playing at alamo because they showed all of like Paul Thomas Anderson's old movies, and I watched Boogie Nights, and it immediately, like, it starts, and I just went, this is a much better movie. Boogie Nights is good. <laughs> Fucking, Boogie it, it so starts, good. it's so loud at the beginning. What's oh. the very first, what's the very beginning of Boogie Nights? I have Nights? a very funny story about Boogie Nights. The Boogie Nights, and then it's the, uh, that is Paul Thomas Anderson's movie where he goes, oh, you think, you think Goodfellas has a really long follow shot? Uh, yeah. I'll fucking show you what has a really long follow shot. He does like four. Yeah. And Eric, so it's the very beginning. You know the first time I saw Boogie Nights? Oh, I know the first time you saw uh, where you had an idea about what you thought Boogie Nights was about. <laughs> Not yeah. what you were expected? It was at Eric's house. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> Is that really a movie you want to put on with Boogie company? Nights came on and we were flipping through channels and it landed this was- and we're like... Years ago. Seven years, yeah. six years ago? And then uh, landed on Back Boogie Nights. Back in San Nights. Diego? Yep. Landed on Boogie Nights. Um, <laughs> went, oh, fucking Boogie Nights. Hell yeah. We'll watch it. And then it's the part we're watching and watching and they're just going, like, what's this movie? What the fuck is it? And then it's the part where little Bill <laughs> rings in 1980. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, yeah. he takes himself out the game. Yeah, yeah. Where he, uh, uh, he uh, uh, William H. Macy kills himself in the movie. And um, I was going to watch it. <laughs> that's fine. It's the halfway point. Think, uh, yeah, that's yeah. Of, of a three-hour movie. Yeah, that's, of a three-hour movie that's twenty pushing twenty-five years yes. old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, also thought it was going to be like Saturday Night Fever. Bitch, like, <laughs> I thought this movie was about dancing. It's like, <laughs> yeah. mm, well, no, kind of. That movie is twenty-five years old. It came out in ninety-seven. Yes, yeah. it did. Burt Reynolds, that was Burt Reynolds' comeback. It's hard to watch that movie if you're not prepared and in nope. the mood for that movie. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> I it's tell you, is it going, baby? That's, an, that's, that's such a good movie. Probably one of my favorite movies. See, like I think. He, you know, Paul Thomas Anderson has some great films like uh, like that. Um, there will be blood, mm-hmm. which is great. Really. Total opposites, yes. yeah, uh, from each other. But yeah, there's just somewhere I'm like, I don't care. And Licorice Pizza, like just watching the promos for Licorice Pizza. Like what that. was uh, nah. Phantom Thread? I was really excited for, and ended up not caring for it. Yeah, I agree. Oh, mm-hmm. I saw yeah. that. It was great. Per- yeah, great performance, great mm-hmm. singular performance, and uh, you know, a great atmosphere and in, in a movie ultimately that I don't really care for. That mm-hmm. was also a. Uh, it's fine. It was part of. The uh, atmosphere of movies were all about, uh, what is it, Munchausen by proxy? Yes. The, yeah. the, the like, poisoning somebody and, mm-hmm. like, to get attention or whatever or mm-hmm. to, like, care for them. Because there were, like, three things that were, featured that yeah. uh, situation that came out all at the same time. There was, like, a Hulu show and then, like, an Amazon movie. There, and there, there was, was an was HBO that, thing, too. Was, like, dude, come on. With uh, Amy Adams or something. Yeah. I forget what it was called. Too much. Mm. A Hulu show? Sharp Objects. Oh. Mm. oh yeah. That's right. This episode of the Receipt Podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. Making websites on your own is hard. There are so many awful website building platforms out there with limited features that make ugly, poorly optimized sites. Lucky for you, Squarespace is the go-to all-in-one platform to build beautiful online presences or run your business. Squarespace seriously has everything you can need to build a website that suits your needs, from small businesses to content creators. Uh, they got member areas so you can connect with your audience, generate revenue through gated, members-only content, even a video studio app that helps you share and engage with your audience. Interested in building that community? Squarespace also offers blogging and commenting features, so you can create a community through threaded comments, replies, and likes. Uh, plus, they have traffic overview features, so you can actually see how much that community you're building has grown. Uh, you've heard me talk about Squarespace for a long time now. I love how it's super simple to use. Everything's point and click. There's no coding required. With their great templates, you can get up and running in no time. I love it. 
I think you should give it a try. So uh, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash rooster teeth to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Life can be overwhelming and many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, more. Uh, I, I know we're all way more cognizant about uh, burnout, uh, you know, here recently. And I've been doing this job a long time. I know all about burnout. 19 years. It's a long time. That feeling where it's too hard to get out of bed, too much to start the day, overwhelming dread you have associated with something that didn't make you feel the way it did before. It's hard. We've all been there. We associate burnout with work, but, you know, that's not the only cause. Any of our roles in life can lead us to feel burned out. And BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. But that's why we have therapy, right? Keeping these feelings bottled up isn't going to help anything and it's not going to solve your problem. You need to get help, talk to someone, and maybe check out therapy. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Rooster Teeth podcast listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Rooster. That's Better H-E-L-P dot com slash Rooster. Thanks, BetterHelp. This episode of the Received Podcast is brought to you by DoorDash. Summertime and the ordering's easy. Ordering all your summer essentials with Dash Pass and DoorDash is a great way to get everything you need. And during summer of Dash Pass, you can save money and access members-only offers that will help you feel easy, breezy, all season long. DoorDash is easy to use. It's pretty much everything I need to get me what I need when I'm on the go. If I'm in a pinch, tummy's rumbling, uh, I've got DoorDash on my side. Say hello to summer savings during the summer of Dash Pass from DoorDash with $0 delivery fees, ex- exclusive items, more than 25000 Members only offers nationwide Dash Pass by DoorDash has everything you need to make your summer memorable. With your Dash Pass by DoorDash membership, you can save an average of 4 to $5 on every order you place for delivery or pickup. That means on average, Dash Pass pays for itself when you order just twice a month. With members-only offers and items dropping every week, you'll have everything you need to make the most out of summer right at your fingertips. Shine bright during DoorDash's Summer of Dash Pass. Get 50% off your first order up to $15 in value. Use promo code ROOSTER at checkout when you spend $12 or more. That's 50% off your first order up to $15 value. When you sign up for DoorDash during Summer of Dash Pass using promo code ROOSTER. Don't forget, that's code ROOSTER for 50% off your first order up to $15 in value. Dash Pass benefits only on eligible orders that meet the minimum subtotal. Terms apply. You want to talk about great performances. I do want to talk about great performances. The rehearsal. Yes! I, dude, I can't. <laughs> yes! You guys, Have you, you guys already watched it? We yeah, wa- me and Trevor watched the first episode, yeah. First episode came out on Friday, I guess. It's the new Nathan Fielder series that uh, just debuted on uh, on HBO. I wasn't sure, from the promos, I wasn't sure how they were going to approach it. I didn't even watch the promos. Okay. I went in blind. It's like but, one, yeah. I guess one story slash person per episode. There's no like... I would per, imagine. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's going to be a through thread uh, of... Oh, anybody. you never know with this guy. I don't you know, never it know. wouldn't really make sense for there to be based off the premise. Right. I just wasn't sure if it was going to be like the whole se- season was going to be about building up to something or if it was going to be a bunch of individual stories. Yeah. But it's a very strange premise to try to describe. But if you had to describe it, it would be, what if you needed to have a converse, an uncomfortable conversation with someone? Needed but, to? Yes. I like you needed need to. to tell them something or confess <laughs> something or whatever it was. But in order to... <laughs> Uh, prepare yourself for it, you rehearsed it and went through every uh. possible decision tree in the conversation uh, at, to the point where this with Nathan Fielder? To the point where Nathan Fielder <laughs> rebuilds and uh. recreates a one-to-one replica of the place where you will do this, hires actors and actresses to study the people you will be talking and to and play them. And has those actors meet these people that you're going to oh! have the conversation with undercover to like study their mannerisms and way of mm, speaking mm. and it's just like it's so and then builds deep. a giant flow chart for every possible way that the I conversation like can go and be like so clever. to have the optimal outcome for this uncomfortable conversation. Does this person have to memorize everything? These are the beats you have to go through <laughs> in order to reach the end. Yeah. It is and, yeah, incredible. You, and then the little do you know, I do that for every podcast I'm on. <laughs> but I, Eric laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> but, uh, saw Barbara okay. laughs. The, the whole thing is just incredible. The amount of research that is put into preparing right uh not even just for the conversation but for the pitch to the person to convince them Mm -hmm. to take part in the rehearsal Mm -hmm. (laughs) is is mind-blowing it is so good yeah i don't want to give away too much more yeah it's the reveals are great i can see why you wouldn't like it oh i can't there's no way (laughs) like 
I've reached a limit, I think, on like that sort of uh, over preparedness. No, like the, the sh- <laughs> like the like that like cringe like sh- I don't like that mm. word, but like that sort of like the hide behind your pillow like Schadenfreude kind of mm. what like that kind of thing. I've really reached a limit on the amount that my body can absorb of that <laughs> well, before I make I, makes me well, physically the, ill. The the if I if I can go if you don't mind. Um, the thing I realized or the takeaway I took after watching mm-hmm. the first episode is that you build up these things in your head to be way worse than they are. Yes. Oh, okay. A hundred percent. Yeah. And then as you learn, as this, you rehearse and as you go through the actually executing on the conversation, it's like, oh, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. It's like you in your mind, the thought of it and the idea of these things is awful. And like, it just like yeah. wants to like People always you. think worst case scenario. Yeah. Right. But always. then you do the, the not thing knowing. and it's like, oh, this was not a big deal. So in at the all. end, it works out for the person who's having this conversation i don't want to say necessarily one way or another yeah. uh, I, and also there's just one episode out now sure yeah it's hard to say what what else is going to happen but i think it's actually a good lesson at, I, at one point you know they walk through various scenarios when they're doing the mm. rehearsal um throughout the episode and i think at one point they do like all right let's do a run through as if the worst possible outcome for this could happen this person gun and start shooting. <laughs> gets oh mad and they like blow up at you and they want to end this friendship blah, right. blah 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 and so it kind of prepares you for that moment of just like oh that actually wasn't mm. e- even the worst case scenario wasn't mm, as yeah. bad as i thought it would be but uh they 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 build a replica of the place where this conversation it's happens. incredible like, they're gonna have you know they have, they're gonna have this conversation at a bar uh-huh. so they like 3d scan the bar and rebuild it in a set down to a like lot of work torn chairs and stools and like it literally re- is a one for one yeah you can't tell when they're in the rehearsal space versus when they're in the actual bar it's like they built like the the Abita flag on the wall is folded the exact same way. Like I'm the just, creases in it. I'm impressed that Nathan Fielder was able to pitch this in a way to convince the studio to give him money for this. Well, between Nathan for you, he was also a producer on How to with John yeah. Wilson. You Someone know. said, I think Trevor was guessing that this was a concept for an episode of Nathan for You that was too high budget Probably. that they oh, turned yeah. into yeah. a top Absolutely. show. Yeah. yeah. And he it, went, it, we could probably make a fucking series out of this, right? <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the reverse of the Smokers Aloud Nathan For You episode, mm-hmm. where in Smokers Aloud, they took a moment and tried to recreate <laughs> it and pass it off as performance. Right. But this, they're like recreating the event before it happens. Right. Trying to lead up to it. I'll make a deal with you, Eric. Yeah. You watch this episode. No deal! <laughs> and in exchange, mm-hmm. that cat that you keep sending me, uh, I'll make it my lock screen for a week. Wow! Whoa! Can you pass it up, Eric? Oh boy, and that cat's pretty cool. <laughs> I'll throw in. I'll throw in a writer. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll stop forwarding uh, Marvel Funko pin, <laughs> Funko Pop messages to you <laughs> every time I get them. Me and Jordan's uh. only text conversation. We see each other once a week, whatever. Our only text conversations to each other outside of a group text is Jordan going, "Treasure truck Marvel Funko pin on sale now. Get it while it's hot." And it's like, I die. Do you buy these? Die. No, oh. no, no. I just know he doesn't want them, or he doesn't care. It's like him sending me pictures of the cat. Yeah, exactly. He knows I don't want. He's got to get a taste of his own medicine. Ho, ho, ro, ho Rudu, I think, is the cat on Instagram. You should it's go look like up this cat. One of those hairless cats, but it's real fat, real chunky, and it what like if, always if, looks into your he soul. Likes, he looks like he wants to party. Yeah. He's always down. <laughs> what if, what his if, eyes are always very dilated. <laughs> it's like what if uh, what if a Thanksgiving turkey uh, was a pet, and then that that's the like whole thing. Turkey. Yep. That's the whole thing. And then Nathan Fielder goes through every possible <laughs> interaction you can have with this cat. I will think on your uh, y- y- your your bargain okay. uh, because I cannot I cannot commit. It's, the offer comes off the table at the end of the podcast. Oh. It's such a good show. It's your <laughs> terrible. Loss. It's your loss if you don't watch. Uh, it. it really, uh, is. but I can't even watch like and how it's on to HBO I, Max, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, HBO yeah, yeah. Max. I can't even watch how to with John. How Wilson to again. is incredible. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's brutal. It's like I don't want to spend time with these people. Like when it's like w- w- him in like the beach or whatever, like spring break. Oh, God. And he's like, spe- th- see, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's it. And you do this for every episode. People go, oh, that one. Is that the one where he met the CEO yes. of Bang? Yeah, he's like, he, he like meets this dude and he keeps talking to the guy. And it's like, I don't want to spend time with anyone like this yeah. at all. And then my wife's favorite fucking show is like Veep. And Veep is a show. Veep is a show where no one wins. Yeah, it's great. It is. These people are relentlessly beat down, and you think there's going to be some kind of victory? Nothing. Not only are they, they beat down, just, but they're beating oh. each other down as oh. they're being beat down. And they are just, they're in the mud and seeing so how much. deep they can pull each other. Yeah. It's miserable. Have you ever watched Death of Stalin? No. That movie is so good. That movie God, rules. It's, it's by the same guy who does Veep. Um, and it's just, it's all like uh, American and English actors playing the uh, 
uh, the leaders of Soviet Russia when Stalin dies mm -hmm. and then all like the power vacuum afterward. And it, it acts like an episode of Veep. <sighs> There's a great scene at his funeral where they're all standing around like as and greeting people as they're mourning and stuff. And they're just having this conversation about like, who invited the fucking bishops and like <laughs> it's like being passed around uh steve buscemi pa uh, plays one of the characters i think he plays uh khrushchev mm -hmm. it's uh it's so good i highly recommend it hmm. very funny steve buscemi yeah the, the most distinctive looking human in <laughs> yeah. the entire I, world i love in the in fargo when uh <laughs> they're talking to like uh one of the people that it, uh he ran into and uh it's one of the cops and they're like what do they look like and, He's just kind of funny looking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, funny looking how? Just funny looking. Yeah, how he's seen some things. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like tough to like describe if he wasn't, you know, an actor and you go Steve Buscemi. Yeah. I think it's really weird that he's in Sopranos for like oh, a while. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't not expecting him when no. I was watching it and like, recently. Totally like by the character and everything too. Mm -hmm. Like, that's great. That's a great. What was his character's it, name? Tony. Tony. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. And it makes sense why he ends up uh, playing Nucky in... Boardwalk yes. Empire, because oh, Terrence yeah. Winter was a writer yeah. on Sopranos. Yeah. So, like, that, that that was interesting for me, because I, I watched Boardwalk Empire first. That was, like, my first uh, Terrence Winter exposure. And then I went back and watched Sopranos. I'm like, hey, it's that guy who yeah. shows up in Boardwalk Empire later. Yeah. You should, uh, <laughs> did you watch Deadwood? Oh, I love Deadwood. Yeah. I feel like Deadwood just recently rewatched it for the second time. Yeah. Yeah. I, feel like <laughs> I never, I never saw it. I never got into that. Oh, really? Yeah. It's definitely slow, show. and there's a hump that you have to get over because the language feels like it's difficult, but it's just the way they spoke and mm -hmm. no one's smart. <laughs> you have to realize that everyone's dumb. See, that that was a big thing when like oh, it so clicked it's like living for me. in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. A big thing that clicked for me with the Sopranos is that like it feels like it's this like uh high stakes drama, mm -hmm. but really it's a it's a comedy with a bunch of people who are just like getting in their own way. Yeah. Like the scene where there's a, there's a part where uh, later in the series, uh, Tony Soprano's in, in a coma. And, uh, Spoiler. <laughs> and <laughs> For a don't, don't worry, he's now. fine. Uh, <laughs> but uh, one of his friends, Polly, comes in. <laughs> and they're, like, they're like, just remember, the doctors say, stay positive. It really helps, even though, you know, he's in a coma. And he comes in and he sees him and goes, woof, my road, he looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's just sitting there and he's like complaining about all the, all oh, the shit yeah. in his life. And like. There's this like uh, episode arc of like what's going on inside Tony's head in the coma, and at this point he's just like, there's somebody in like he's in a hotel room and someone in the other room is talking. He's like, shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's Polly's voice in the other room. Spiking. Yeah, it's so good. It's awesome. <laughs> so that, funny. It's it's a great show where it feels high stakes because you buy into the character, but it's incredibly low stakes when they yes. go and do stuff like they try to shake down like <laughs> the equivalent of like a Starbucks. And oh, they're like, yeah. yeah, hey, you know, protection money in the neighborhood. And the manager of the Starbucks is like, look, every dollar, every coffee bean, everything's accounted for. Like, this isn't me going, no, I'm not going to pay you. This is me going, if I do this, they'll fire me and there'll just be another guy and you still won't get what you want. <laughs> and they walk out and they just go, so much for the little guy. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, the little guy? <laughs> what are you talking about? What's this about? world coming to? Yeah, it's so good. It's a fucking great show. Soprano is like There's one of the best ever made. There's so much good TV. Yeah. There's so there much is, good stuff yeah. to choose from. Including the rehearsal. Yeah. The rehearsal. We also, speaking, I, I know we're talking about movies and TV a lot. I, I'm sure we'll wrap up care. soon a, on it. It's a weekly podcast. It's a weekly podcast. Barbara, talk I about know. what you want to talk to him right well, now. Well, I was going to tell Gus that uh, we watched the first episode of The Bear. Oh. Oh, cool. Yeah, which I was not expecting that at all. Like, I, I we went in blind mm -hmm. to this show, and I had no idea what it was about. And I was just like, this feels... We haven't gotten through the next few episodes yet. Um, and at first I was like, it feels a little uncut gems-like, mm -hmm. because it's, mm -hmm. like, so Lots, yeah. much constantly. Yeah. Yeah. And, like... Um, but it's very interesting. It's all very, very like, very concept. close and, like... Stressful, stressful and yeah. a lot of talking all the time. Yeah. And I did not like Uncut Gems, so I'm just like, <laughs> but this I'm okay with. Well, Uncut Gems, like the Adam Sandler character was so unlikable um, in yeah, that. Very unlikable. Like here in the, the, in the Bear, the only really unlikable character at this point is like the cousin. Yeah. Oh, Who's I not even that, that bad guy. near the end. Yeah. <laughs> I think, right? Because he like stands up for yeah. his guy. Yeah, for Carmi. Uh, yeah, it's a great show. Plus, it's only like roughly 30 minute episodes. Yeah. So it's easy to just burn There's not through. a whole lot of them either. It's eight. It's eight yeah. episodes. We also started randomly watching uh what we do in the shadows 
Oh, wow. Oh, great show. You guys seen that? Yeah. I still haven't seen it. Everyone recommends that show. Yeah. I actually, I st- had started watching it and, like, couldn't get into it. But then, like, once you really latch on to, like, the archetypes and everyone's, like, character, yeah. it, it really... Uh, it really takes off. And you could definitely feel Taika Waititi in it. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. so, so heavily, in a good way. Yeah. And I like that they, for the theme song, they kept the uh, the song from the uh, the movie, because mm-hmm. I always like that part. Um, I watched that movie for the first time on a flight from Australia to New Zealand. <laughs> just <laughs> before, like, this was like six months before it was in theaters in America. I watched oh. it on the Whoa. airplane. Yeah. That's and so I was like, crazy. this movie's cool. <laughs> Man. weird. Yeah, that was the one where uh, the trip where we got the chocolate milk in Wellington. The milk. Yeah, I saw I saw the milk out. in the grocery store here the other day. They have they, they have, have the, the milk, and the, I said they have the milk. The milk. <laughs> I gotta go get that milk. That milk was good. I think it was at the. I want to say it was at Central Market that I saw it. What was it? Uh, Whitaker's. Or? Whitaker's and Lewis Road Creamery, mm-hmm. I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we went. Jordan and I did this meetup in New Zealand. Uh, God, like. Eight years ago now? That's a long time ago. Yeah. Jesus. And um, uh, it was like like us and just like a bunch of people from the community came out and Mm -hmm. we just like hung out like in a park. And like this person brought us each uh, a bottle (laughs) of chocolate milk, uh, which sounds like nothing. But like this person pulled out the chocolate milk from the bag. And and everyone. There was a murmur through the crowd. The milk, I the remember milk, this. the chocolate milk. The milk. They got the He's milk. Got the milk. The milk. He found the milk. <laughs> Apparently, it's like very good. It's very good, and it's extremely hard to find. Yeah. It's yeah. like it's it's a collaboration between a chocolate company and a milk company, and it they make very thing, little of it. It was a thing where people were lining up every day, like when grocery stores were opening, to get it, and they were selling out as soon as the stores opened. Oh. And, and this guy worked the there, and they yeah. fell off a truck. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand how, but... Uh, you have to that, try the milk. It was so good. But that doesn't, like, I can't wrap my head around the ceiling for milk. <laughs> Has to be so low. I should, no, I should have bought it when I saw it. I should, I'll bring yeah. it. Yeah. So you can try yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. It's milk? Listen. Just let people like what they like. I'm not saying you can't like sh- it. I'm saying I don't understand how you guys are going... Oh, the milk. It's because you haven't had it. I feel like you put a, a scarcity model on anything and it becomes. But that's, oh. uh, and, and oh. I agree with that. I agree with the, the scarcity model. Fork. Thing, but, oh, the <laughs> switch oh. fork. But like, <laughs> but it's chocolate. It's like, you know, on Fuckface, we uh, talk about like co- the Cosmic Crisp apples were like a thing. We're like, oh, the, we heard these are like great apples. And yeah. I ate it and I'm like, Seven out of ten. Like if I you line up six apples in front of me and I take a bite out of each one. I think you need to find the happiness in things a little yeah. more. It's Eric. not the happiness me, that I'm looking for. I'm question. looking for something exquisite. If this you're talking about, wow, this apple is so much better than other apples, and I eat it and I go, <laughs> it's an apple. What's Someone up? in chat, uh-huh. Maskell King, says, I was there at Wellington Hill for that <laughs> nice. trip. It's easier to find now. It had just started in releasing at right. that time. Yeah, that was a, it was that a was brand the new product. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um this is a good barometer for like how much you would like enjoy things that other people okay. like enjoy. What do you think about breakfast cars? Oh, I like the I like the sound of breakfast cars okay, when cool. they do the thing. Beep, I think beep, it's funny. Breakfast cars. cars. Beep beep. Breakfast cars. I think it's great. You get on TikTok. Every, 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 every we're on TikTok. Every stitch I see is like the breakfast cars, and then somebody about to go. This is why it sucks, and then somebody cutting that yeah, off, going like, "Hey." Let people enjoy the breakfast cars. I too okay? am on TikTok. I literally manage three TikTok accounts. Yeah, well, you got to get what on is a breakfast TikToks. car? Well, beep beep. Breakfast, breakfast cars. cars. Beep beep. They make <laughs> breakfast cars. So is the car made out of breakfast? Wheels, and then yeah. it's like a hash brown patty on mm-hmm. top, and then an egg, and then and um, then you eat it all in one. No, no, you just put it on a little like you put it on a tin cutting and you board, make it, and you make and it you roll, make and you go beep beep breakfast, breakfast cars. cars. Beep beep. Do, are there toothpicks in it? How does it stick together? No, they're rolling. Yeah, it's rolling like a car would. I you should really you look this up. Very much. Right now. <laughs> beep, beep, breakfast cars. Beep, beep, breakfast cars. <laughs> breakfast cars are um, good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like breakfast cars. Also, like the my favorite thing on TikTok right now is is just getting like little nuggets of this story about the the homophobic <laughs> Star Wars puppet. <laughs> What? Are, we're on different TikToks, I think. I have no <laughs> I idea what... I've been out of this conversation <laughs> for minutes, apparently. This is great, because... Jordan it's me like this Star Wars so puppet. Good. <laughs> One more time. It's like a real mystery that I'm trying to piece together without seeking out more information. Okay. So the first piece of information I got was just somebody going, can't believe that Star Wars puppet turned out to be homophobic, guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then I was like, that's weird. And then scrolling some more and then seeing a stitch of just a puppet being like, hey, guys, I just want to apologize. And then a stitch being like, who would have thought that the Star Wars puppet was homophobic? No, <laughs> what? Yeah. what does did he, it say? Does so he also the, think the election is stolen, yeah. apparently? I don't know. Here's what I know. Are you looking it up? There I'm is, trying to find information there's about a, it. There's a puppet on TikTok beep, beep. that does Star Wars stuff. <laughs> Beep, beep, and apparently said something homophobic <laughs> and had to apologize. My latest uh-huh. discovery was just a TikTok of two other puppets being like, hey, guys, we're here to just talk about some things going on in the community. So there are other Star Wars puppets who are backing them up. Who are, no, I think they're also trying to distance themselves. Yeah, they're trying to still be Star Wars puppets, right. but they not be on the same side. They don't as want this the Star water po- They don't want the well poisoned. You know, Star Wars the GOP right now is just like cancel culture extended. Yeah, that's, that's another one. Like, even the puppets are getting canceled. <laughs> so when cool. will these lefties stop? You just have to find <laughs> you have to find the stuff that you really like on TikTok yeah. and then tell it that, of stuff that you don't like where it's baristas filming exactly. two sides of the same conversation going, hello, how are you? I want a large coffee. This interaction never happened. Yeah. It's okay. It's therapy and yeah. you should go. Betterhelp.com. But you should like <laughs> really, you don't have to film it. It's okay. Yeah. It's right. Right. You just hold on that and then you just hit not interested and you get yep. more stuff like breakfast cards. You get breakfast cards. I get Beep. a lot of skate videos. <laughs> I, just lot learned, of I just learned all about the Star Wars puppet. You, don't, don't spoil it for me. I'm on my own adventure I right learned. now. I know, I know I know what you're talking Honestly, about now. There is nothing better than TikTok drama. Yeah, it's great. Jordan sent me, he's like, he's like, like you want to know about this? And I went, yeah. And he sent me some stuff. And then he sent me the last video that he had. And I went, this is my friend Jomi. And he went, even, what? Yeah, oh. even he's on it. Oh, so he knows about this. <laughs> great. Was it Jomi at RTX? Yeah. yeah, 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 He came. We went to Casino El Camino and it had been a long time since we'd done like an in-person convention. So we started doing this. And then, oh, I remember. Uh-huh. And then, <laughs> and then, and then it, we just kept doing it at the bar. We're just like, what's like the lame? What's just out of like the zeitgeist? Like, what's just crested? And it's just like mm-hmm. you haven't even thought about it in a year. And it was that. And then we were with our friend Richard's like assistant editor, and she just all of a sudden went, and, and that was the rest of the weekend. That was seeing Trevor and Barbara at this party and going, hey, it was great. That's a that's. Every convention, you need something yeah. that is like an inside joke that gets you through. Oh, yeah. Either gets you through <laughs> it or is just something fun to like, or like a fun memory the ground. from it. Yeah. 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 Like, do you remember Fan Expo, like 2012, being across from that uh, DVD booth? Yep. And it would play the same trailer reel. <laughs> and, and we would just uh, recite it? Yep. We it would was recite that and it. Gangnam Style. <laughs> Gangnam Style. Yeah, Gangnam Style was everywhere because yep. it just like was popping off. But like... We would stop what we were doing every time when uh, the uh, the fucking uh, Hunger Games part would come up. He was like, I volunteer. I volunteer as tribute. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> and then we'd be like, so what shirt do you want? Yeah. <laughs> it was Yumi here. and Jack. And mm-hmm. I think also someone from the community was helping out. Yeah. Joe, I think. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. But that was that was a fun time. That but was I a remember good time. There was Ten a years ago. Wild. Ten years ago. That's, uh, I was thinking like, um, <laughs> Comic-Con's <laughs> coming up and that is ten years from when I met Eric for yep. the first time. Yep. <sighs> like that's like, it's our 10 year anniversary Aww. mega mega 64 is doing comic-con and they're excited about it because it's the first time in three years when they can go <laughs> and so they're, they're like, actually looking forward like, to wow, it we're, this is the first time in a long time we're looking forward yeah. to comic-con why and i think they they're go gonna go, go and go huh why were we looking forward to this they couldn't go before because of covid or yeah yeah. Okay. COVID. yeah yeah you you can't give up a booth there. i went there in 2019 you were there also in 2019 right we were on the boat San Diego Comic Con, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We did yep. those like oh, interviews. Yeah, that was like yep. yeah, we tours. went. And that was then awesome. There was no Comic Con since then. Yeah, that's nope. crazy. that's so weird to think about. That's yep. really they, weird. They were like, we did a small one in November, and it's like you did a what? And yep. it was I found out about it after it happened. Yeah, we didn't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> that rule, that one Comic Con where they're like, you guys want to do press interviews, and I went, yeah. And so I just had my friend Andrew help me set stuff up, and Shane was there, and uh, we just set stuff up. Drew came, and we shot stuff, and then we rode back on the boat on like the last day. Hell yeah! And the Drew wanted to just get in the car. He's like, "Let's just fucking go. Let's go." And I'm like, "No, no, no. Let's wait and wait." He's all pissed off. And I don't want to play. Yeah, it was that. <laughs> Definitely that. <laughs> uh, the bartender gave us a bottle of uh, like whiskey that he'd put like blackberries or something in, and we rode on the big boat that we were on mm-hmm. on the top deck in the San Diego Bay. As the sun was going down, we're drinking this bottle of whiskey, and dolphins were jumping around the boat. And Drew went, 
I don't like admitting when I'm wrong, <laughs> but I will tell you that you were right. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds I wasn't amazing. wrong. You were right. <laughs> it was. It was incredible. It fucking ruled. That wow. was the same year. I don't know if it was the same boat. Were we on the same boat? We, it, we, you, uh, it was the interview boat where... Yeah. You okay, guys don't so sound like you're on the me, same boat right now. Me, Sophie, and Nathan uh -huh. just went on like a different boat ride <laughs> during that weekend like to look at the, dol the dolphins yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Like uh, to see them like f flip through the water mm -hmm. and all that stuff. There were multiple people on that boat who were getting sick. Yes, yeah. And there was a guy vomiting into a clear plastic bag. Oh, why? And it was Pepto-Bismol paint. Ah! And I went, well, yeah, he took it yeah. because he knew. <laughs> he was trying to stop it. But Didn't I work. don't know. They have a lot of cruises or like little like day cruise things in San Diego, like in the San Diego Bay. You take a hornblower cruise, you can get like an unlimited champagne are, brunch, mimosa yeah. brunch thing, and then you just get... And they get hammered. on a boat. <laughs> and then you watch his, but what people being hammered consider, on a boat seems it's, it's not bad. Deadly, I love deadly it. Deadly like, it's a great feeling. I feel like it, 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 it either yep cancels each other right, out or yeah. it makes yeah. it way worse. If you're worse. on a choppy day and you don't know it's going to be a choppy day, it's a really it's tough. It can be tough. You should take Dramamine like mm -hmm. regardless. It's yeah. going to like seasickness. There is no escape. Yeah. You ever been deep sea fishing? No. I went deep sea fishing once with my grandpa. He. uh he loves it. He loves hunting and fishing. And is deep sea fishing like you just go farther out and you fish, or you what is? Go. I guess I don't know what that is. So far, you just go like you start at the land and then you just go in the oh. water and you just keep wow. going and like you just keep heading west oh. and you just keep heading west. I feel like I'd be so scared. And <laughs> you, you, go an, you go for and you go for it. You only if you, go west. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fish in the Atlantic. <laughs> uh, you go for like an hour and you're like, Jesus Christ, we're way out here. And the guy goes, Yeah, I'll be there in another like forty five. Jesus. You're just like two hours out from land. And, and then you got all a of, compass. And then all of a sudden you find other boats and they're like, yeah, here's like where the fish are like really hopping today. And you go deep sea fishing and I caught like a big fucking like mahi mahi. Like it was awesome. It was really cool. Uh, and uh, I ain't I going further in. out. I ain't going further out than Catalina. Dude, <laughs> you can't see land and you just think That's if terrifying. this is it, you're done. Mm -mm. You're done. You, I don't want to ever find you. Don't want to end up like that, that episode of King of the Hill where they all jump off the uh, boat yeah. <laughs> without putting the ladder down. Yep. And then uh, the, for some reason, Boomhauer pulls the propeller off and yep. the gas leaks. <laughs> What's that, that fear of like, it's like big spaces, big open spaces? Agoraphobia. Agoraphobia, is that what yeah. it is? I thought that's like you're afraid to go out. It might be the same thing. Yeah. Hmm. I know it's, but I get that sense a little bit with water and yeah. Oh, yeah. also oh, yeah. space mm -hmm. to a degree. Like the idea of being floating out in space and just like that vastness that you can't even comprehend. It's yep. like terrifying. Agoraphobia is just, yeah, open spaces, hmm. public transit, shopping centers, or simply being outside your home. Okay. Hmm. I'm thinking of more of like big air, like the, the, the big vastness. Is, yeah. Yep. Yeah. The, the, like being the, really the deep underwater or something like uh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Felt that way flying to Japan. I think Gus yeah, did too. That's when you yeah. had a the only time I've ever like moments. had, yeah, had like attack, a freak right? out. You yeah, start yeah, having like a little attack. bit of a panic attack, and you just go, "Just go down right now." And this is it. Is that? That's well, it. There's you, nothing you can like, do. I started thinking about how big the Pacific Ocean is. I mm -hmm. start when I start thinking about how deep the ocean. I'm doing it right now. I'm thinking about how deep the ocean is and how there's nothing underneath us. Like there's just there's rock. What? But there's a bottom. You know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I start thinking about that, and then I think about how big I am, and then I think about. The world, the size of the world, and then the universe, and, and then you, you just and you think about that photo from the James Webb yeah. telescope, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where then, each speck is a galaxy <laughs> that yeah. houses ten billion stars. And then you start thinking about like the meetings that you have to do for like your little podcasts, mm -hmm. and then you go, "No, oh, this matters, it's fine." <laughs> yeah, no pressure. Enjoy it, but no pressure. Yeah. There's a great video that I saw on TikTok. Nice. It wasn't beep, the, beep, bre breakfast wasn't the breakfast. Beep, beep, breakfast cars. But oh, I reposted on. it on Twitter. It, it was this guy basically talking about that photo from the James yeah. Webb telescope, the, the first one they released about how like. It's just impossible to comprehend and yeah. how like, and we're here sitting on earth being like, my panini is cold. And it's just like, <laughs> who the fuck cares? Like nothing, ma nothing matters. Nothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's fine. But then, you know, you have a vastness kind of, you think about how big everything is and you're like, well, nothing matters. But then ultimately, if nothing matters, then it's, it is what you make of it, right? Yeah. Then it's like, so yeah. So yeah, be pissed that your panini is cold and then go warm up your panini and shut the fuck up. It's fine. Don't leave comments. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Here's what I think. Get the fuck. Get out of here. You follow me. I don't follow you. We saw a cat that was cloned yesterday. Uh, we this saw oh, I saw you posting about that. Went to cat a bar. That was cloned? Went to a bar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Went to Nickel City. I haven't been to Nickel City. This was, this was uh, s s the, the layers of this 
like finding out about this cat. A was, lot. It happened. was it was very similar to the finding out about this puppet. Yep. But we went to uh, <laughs> we went to Nickel just City. Peeling away the layers. Uh, just decided to get a drink on a Saturday afternoon. It's a good time. Um, all of a sudden, I'm having a drink, and I see out of the corner of my eye a cat. There's a cat in the bar. That's crazy. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. There's a cat in the bar. And guess here's how I'm going to tell the story. I said, guys, there's a cat in the bar. And then everyone at our table said, no way is there a cat in the bar. He's already telling the story wrong for the record. <laughs> but <laughs> I'll not... allow him to continue. Okay. <laughs> Eric, you're crazy. There's no cat at this bar. And I said, guys, there's definitely a cat at this bar. And I keep looking and I keep looking. We're all looking. There's We can't see. I saw, I saw a dog. There was a there dog. There was a dog at the yeah. bar. There's and they said, is, no this, is, the, is the dog? Oh, maybe is that? I said, no, no, no. Uh, Eric, are you confusing dogs and cats again? <laughs> About again. 15 minutes later, a guy walks by who's sitting over by where I saw the cat. And I said, hey, man, is there a cat over there? And he went, oh, yeah, and then kept walking. And then everyone said, this man, Eric, this guy is lying. This man is a plant, Eric. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's I'm, in on, I'm in on this wrong me. telling yep. now. And then um, I said, eventually, he went back to that guy, went to his seat. 15 minutes passed. We got another drink. Um, Irish coffee on, like, draft uh, out like, like a, a, like a, a slurry. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's fucking awesome. Where is this place? Great. Nickel City. Oh, it's, on, it's, it's over by uh, Hillside over by Pharmacy Franklin. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Noted. Okay. Um, so eventually I go, you know what? I've worked up the courage to go find this cat. Um, it, it, it took some liquid courage. It did a little bit. I, yeah. A couple of beers and Irish coffee. Two, two Lone Stars and an Irish <laughs> coffee later. And I said, I'm finding this cat. Um, I walked over. There was a cat in a carrier. And I went, oh, this is the cat. I have to take a picture. And I said, can I take a picture of your cat? She's like, yeah, I can wake her up. And I said, I don't care. I will take a picture of your sleeping cat. Took a picture of the sleeping cat and took a picture of the cat in the carrier. <laughs> Excited. Guys, I was right. Go back. And I show my friends, and, I, this and I was like, man, I don't like to admit when I'm wrong. <laughs> but Eric, yeah. you were right. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, I show them a picture of two pictures. The first one is the picture of the cat. It's sleeping. Mm -hmm. Sleeping cat. And they're like, here's this cat. It's an all white little cat. And then I show them the second picture and I go, here's the carrier. And look, her name's Belle, the cloned kitty. What? <laughs> I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> There's a sign on the front that says Belle, the cloned kitty. The cloned, the cloned kitty. kitty. It looks like a logo. Yep. Like it's like Bell written in this like cursive font, and then the cloned uh -huh. kitty. So there was investigations to be had. Oh, did you go back? <laughs> no, we uh, were not cat, going. The to cat ask was him. actually leaving. I yes. think. Yes. Yeah. Oh. And so we had to look it up. This cat was like version four of a cat yeah, named three or four. Chai. Yeah. There was Wait, Chai. Did he give it the same name? There was Chai. There was Chai two point <laughs> And then there's Bell. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, they cloned a cat. <laughs> the cat was a clone. So here's what happened when we were at the bar. Our friend Andrew Douglas, who does art for um, D and D Butt, and and uh, he's done a, 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 a Good Morning from Hell and other camp stuff. Camp storyboards. And he, yeah, he's awesome guy. He's a great guy. He's from Cleveland, Mississippi. He's a great dude. He just went, "Oh my god, I just found out." Cloning is real? <laughs> and that cat's a clone? Yeah. And I found out that fries and onion rings together is called Frings? It was a big day. It we, was were, a big we were just day. before that talking about Frings. We were talking about getting Frings, and he was like, what's that? And then he went like this. And then he, he all of a sudden, he hit it. <laughs> uh, so we saw a cat that was a clone, like full on. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. So it wasn't. So, so we were right, though. It wasn't a cat. It That's, was a cloned cat. You're right. I was right that there was a cat at the bar. It's legal. <laughs> yes. You could yeah. Clone. Barbara Streisand did it. You can. You can. You can. There's services you could pay to clone cats yep. or dogs. The problem do? is you don't the... get the. You get the same. You don't even get the same looking cat. No, it's you like just get the same genetic yep. cat. Because it's not even the same personality. The cat must have been really good if they are going to yep. pay that. Many Chai was like it. white and brown. Mm -hmm. This cat that we saw, Bell, was all white. Mm -hmm. Did they get? Did it get progressively less brown colored? Does it? went through the I don't know colors. I didn't really get a good like, look was, at Chai was the was Chai brown and white Chai yeah. 2.0 was like white with a little bit of brown and then you know Bell is just pure white I don't know if that's how genetics works but Barbara absolutely you know what I think it is because <laughs> if you look at the freckles on <laughs> my we're, arms we're look at this Barbara it's really semantics that's Bell on the left and Chai on the right oh they're wow. super similar oh. yeah they're very similar the back is where the brown is also oh, I don't okay. I don't like about this progressively like I don't like how we're talking about it getting perfect progressively white and talking about genetics we're like very close <laughs> to some eugenic shit barbara's that i don't want to be part of barbara's just asking <laughs> questions no, i found an i found an article in the new york post about this cat i yeah. really don't want my words to be taken out of context <laughs> yeah. talking about the fur color of a cat <laughs> i don't want other people taking it out of context no but i was going to say it's a, it's a i don't know if it has anything to do with anything or uh -huh. if it's unrelated but the i have a lot of freckles on my arms uh -huh. and my Me legs too. and all my body 
my mom has more than I do. Mm-hmm. And then my mm. grandmother has even more than she does. And I'm like, are we just diluting? You know, moles are to be said that um, that's where your uh, your lover in your past life kissed you. Aww. So think about grandma. Aww. Oh, my grandmother's so loved. <laughs> <laughs> All over her arms. Grandma, like- <laughs> my bubby. <laughs> Every no, time okay. I talk to my bubby, by the way, mm-hmm. my grandmother, my bubby, we've told stories about her on the podcast yeah. before. Every time she at least once or twice during our conversation goes, so how's my boyfriend? Oh, that's oh, uh, that's referring yeah. Trevor to is. Trevor. <laughs> yeah. boyfriend. That's very nice. Would you ever get a cloned cat? I wouldn't get a cat. So no. apparently she paid twenty five thousand oh, dollars. Wow. Cat. And she took that thing to fucking Nickel City. <laughs> Hey, she also, that's, how much did that custom carrier cost? Yeah, you? right. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. Chai died cat. March 16th, 2017. That's when the genetics for the other cat started. It mm-hmm. said genetics started on in like March of 2017, and then 2021 or whatever is like when this cat was born or something. And it's like, damn, you clone a cat. Look, I love my pets, but like, there's so many animals that yeah. I can't. Yeah. I can't. And, and any, you're not getting the same cat. Same, no. Yeah. And I. Yeah, it was something that I thought a lot about when Benjamin passed away. Right. It's like, you know, like you said, there's already a lot of other animals. You're not getting the same animal. And also, for this animal I loved, I felt it was, in my opinion, Mm -hmm. disrespectful to him. That's what we were saying. Yeah. We were saying it feel I can't put my finger on why I can't, like, articulate it. But it feels feels disrespectful. It feels Mm -hmm. icky. Well, it's like... If you want to clone me, go nuts. I I remember remember being upset uh, when when I was a kid. We got a schnauzer. I was about... Uh, like eight years old, mm-hmm. and the the do- the schnauzer like really like was attached to me. Mm-hmm. And when she died, I was like heartbroken, of course. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I can never, I can never love again. You know, <laughs> you can never <laughs> get another another pet. And then one day, my mom brings home like a new dog, uh-huh. and I'm like, Mom, it's been six months. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still <laughs> grieving. How could yeah. you? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, but then that dog was also very attached to me, and <laughs> I love that dog too. So, yeah. uh, but at the time, I was like. You know, like it just I wanted to like still process the other dog mm-hmm. and the relationship relationship still. But um, and you could have just cloned it. Never thought about cloning. Well, it didn't her. really <laughs> exist more than. Yeah. Five how, years ago. How, is it five years old, essentially? Like I, the, I, I, think, I don't think she, to the, the mainstream audience of <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> like dog owners. Maybe you could start ten years ago for like a couple hundred thousand yeah. dollars yeah. for by Robert Streisand money. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, people in the chat are finding out my dog Benjamin Pastor. He d- he died last year. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm you had to find out this way. Everybody. <laughs> so, sorry to sorry to to spring it on you <laughs> out of the blue. We had Oswald show up in a, a video a few weeks ago. Oh really? Yeah. Oh cool. We did a we we do these um, series on TikTok um, and Instagram and Twitter as well. We we upload them everywhere and mm-hmm. YouTube, I guess. Um, called a F- failed skill checks. Oh yeah. Based on D and D things. <clears throat> And one of them was animal handling. And so it's like someone failing at animal handling and it's a little Oswald there. Yeah. And they're like, oh, hello, little thing. And then it attacks him. <laughs> but a lot of comments were like, it's Oswald. <laughs> <Funny>. <laughs> star of the show. Yeah. What a star. Yeah. Um, he, 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 he's like me. He hates people and doesn't like going anywhere <laughs> new. He just wants to stay home all the time. So if you're looking for something to do, Nickel City has cloned cats. Someone in chat, I forgot who it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, and someone said that oh, it was yeah. Little Beans. Hey, for that price, you best bring it everywhere. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's true. Show yeah. it off. Look at this cat that cost me 25 grand. Yeah. yeah. Like, Damn. It's the same as my previous two cats. <laughs> <laughs> Are you impressed? Please say yes. $25,000. I made a carrier. Look at this cat. I made a carrier. <laughs> it's the oldest cat in history. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nickel City Great Bar. That's a great bar. Yeah, we that place to, uh, I've heard I'm, of that. I, I, I see it all the time. It's like the brick facade yeah. with like the yellow mm-hmm. sign out front. Mm-hmm. It's like right across from where... There's like a little food trailer park yeah. there, right? Yeah. yeah. There's a great uh, vegan Mexican trailer there. Nissi. Oh, is it? They have a brick and mortar now. Yeah, they have a brick and mortar up cool. north. That place is really, really excellent. Oh, I love that place. Yeah. yeah. It's a. Uh, I recommend Nickel City. It's a cool bar. I they think the last time we went Ooh. to lunch, at least the three of us, was at oh. that place. Was at that food truck? Oh, we should oh, lunch. That was like we so many years ago. This is the lunch. Yeah, this I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna say it's the lunch crew. Well, we haven't lunched in like three years. That's true. the problem. And even a few years, I think. Yeah, really. Even yeah. then, before that, it was spotty. Yeah, we yeah. were like getting it together, and it was like, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, like, before you started working here, yeah. Eric. And lunch was me, Gus, and Jordan mm-hmm. used to go to lunch. Like it felt like every day together. <laughs> wow. every, yeah, it was day it, at at its peak. It was daily. Yeah, wow. at least three or four times a week. Yeah, lunch crew. Now we have to make time. Let's I see. know. 
Mm-hmm. And also, lunch. everyone's schedules are so different. Like, yeah. it was all these, especially like oh, well, the last time we meetings. slacked in lunch was December 6, 2021. Oh, that's when we were. Oh, we were and, really hoping. And the the message that's a, was that's a wishful text. Very sad. Barbara cannot lunch tomorrow. Oh, that's I, right. I found December. our last actual lunch. Wow, what was it? Was it a home slice? I, I doesn't say where we went, but I see that we were going and talking about getting in the car. Okay, in, what, in the car, so we were in the was? office. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna say late 2019. I'm like gonna November. Say, I'm gonna say late 2018. You say March 21st. <laughs> uh, 2020, 2020. <laughs> March 5th 2020 no oh, way. oh wow. I was close okay, I think we might have gone to that trailer because it says Barbara got nachos oh, oh. wow I mean no that's other place cool. has nachos so I mean it's pretty likely <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> for some I, reason I, I got Nicholas <laughs> Barbara did eat the nachos there oh that's funny I, I not, that does sound like something I would yeah. do yeah. actually yeah we should I go to like lunch nachos. again soon what where, where should we go I went to Pool Burger. I'm always down to go to Pool Burger. Where's Pool Burger? What? I, I, at, at Deep Eddie Pool? Oh, okay. Ah. Let's go to let's go to lunch on like like uh, Wednesday or Friday. Oh yeah, we got time this week, huh? Maybe. Uh, I can't. Like you're doing I, anything. I can't do Wednesday, but Friday maybe later this week. Maybe, maybe Friday. Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Friday lunch. This is what happened. Welcome to the. Slack. Yeah, this is this is where it all <laughs> <Yeah>. falls apart. <laughs> where, it's, it's somebody <laughs> with the best of intentions going, "What about?" And then everyone going. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's the problem with getting older and getting responsibilities and stuff. Yep. Also we got to pl- we got to plan busy. like 2 weeks in advance. Yeah. Dude, remember when we would play Smite every day? <laughs> I Jordan, I was thinking about that so recently. Uh, I feel like that was some of the best times I've ever had <laughs> right, at Rooster yeah. Teeth. There it was, was just like It was every day. It mm-hmm. was me, Jordan, John Risinger, Brandon, Blaine. Blaine. I think Chris would join Cole in. Cole sometimes. Yeah, Cole. We would just have like, our crew. <laughs> there was a room we had where I think we had set it up to do Twitch streaming or something like yeah. that. It was like a multi PC setup. We would just go in there and play Smite. Dang. For like yeah. an hour, two hours. God, it would be like middle like, of the day. <laughs> like four thirty or five every day. If you like end your day with some Smite or, or something. Or like sometimes you're like on our lunch break too. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Guys. We got really good. We were really good. We and nice. This was after that tournament where we all sucked. I think oh, yeah. it was during the tournament. Well, <laughs> I, I, remember I remember it was I after because practice. because me, Chris, and Brandon got kicked out, which I'm still bitter about. Oh yeah, we got eliminated by uh, the Adams. The Adams. I, yeah. I've heard this story because <laughs> we all know <laughs> we've all heard this <laughs> we, we, <laughs> because of Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I won't get into well, it. Well, I I was uh, on a team with Ashley and Meg, and we got eliminated the first round. Mm. But then I think it was whatever team you were on with John. And someone? I don't remember who I was with. Caleb, I think. It was John was it? and Caleb. This didn't wow. mean but, the world to you, Gus? But you were... You <laughs> You're were not like, bitter about we're it? We're going to be out of town, and so they needed to have a replacement, and like a lot of people were like, oh, you should get Barbara try again, because she like, has been practicing and doing uh, really well. And that was like the closest match out of the entire oh, wow. tournament. I think we were like five points off out of Dang. like 400 and something. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, because it's it like very fun. It's like you got to get down to zero, it's right? Tickets, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think um, we had like five left. Who was your Who was your go to gun? Who did you always play? Uh, I really liked playing Neath at first, oh, right? Yeah. But then I started playing Nuwa. Oh, I yeah. loved Nuwa. I was a Shibalanke main. Yeah, and yeah, I don't, uh, and, and uh, Brandon loved Raw. Yep. <laughs> and yep. And like the the patriotic American scheme uh, or skin. Oh, I forgot it. I've forgotten it sh- all about. This. He would shout Raw America. Raw America. <laughs> Is and this <laughs> is this what it's like when I talk to you about pro wrestling? Beep like, beep breakfast cards. Beep, 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 breakfast <laughs> cards. What is happening? That's a fun. We game. can talk wow. about something you like. Uh, we're gonna watch the home run derby. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're gonna watch the home run derby after this. Um, he doesn't think Pete Alonso is gonna win again. I think that it's pretty. I know he has the odds, but I think it's pretty long shot that he's gonna do it one more time. I just don't think so. Hmm. This is his third. Dodgers year. lost a heartbreaker. <laughs> this what? guy. This guy knows baseball. Bernie will text me and he'll just be like, Dodgers in first. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to talk about the Angels? No? Okay, no. that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. <laughs> I get it. Uh, they're almost 500, right? No. Mm. Our season peaked when uh, one of our players, who is now hurt, mm-hmm. uh, decided just for the hell of it to go up and bat uh, the opposite hand and uh, hit, a oh, home, yeah, right. hit a home run. Yeah. And uh, he's been out ever since. Yep. Pretty cool. And we've been losing ever since. So. Yep. Baseball's fun to watch. It's a blast. It's fun to I had watch a, I had a in blast. person. Yeah. yeah, in person. I had a blast going to West of Sandlot game. 
Yeah. A couple weeks ago. I, I, my favorite part was when Eric had to be the ump. I had less Me of, too. I had less, <laughs> I had less fun when I had to call It was very game. nice of you to. Uh, well, it was either that or they didn't play baseball. <laughs> they didn't play baseball. Everybody I went know. home. But you, you fucking. I'm, to, I'm like calling balls and strikes from behind, behind the pitcher. The hind, behind and the, the pitcher's like, that's a strike. And I'm like, I've never done this. <laughs> There's a guy heckling from like the outside. He's like, oh, get some there, glasses. And I just went, do you want, I don't want to do this. Do you want to do this? There's a great moment where uh, uh, somebody on Wes's team, his name's Randy. He came out into the, the stands and was just sitting there while uh, his team was batting. Yep. And uh, there was one, we, there was one call that was like, I guess, borderline. Yep. And me and him at the same time go, come on, blue. Yeah. And, and <laughs> you look over and you go, you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. You've been trying to get to another game so I don't have to fucking on You should have kicked him out of the game. God, yeah. 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 There was a, clo a close play at first in like the last, like the eighth inning, like the last inning. The guy's like, I was safe. And I went, I want to go home. <laughs> this sucks. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. the score was like, they were blowing it. Yeah. yeah. Fuck and off. And it was like, his foot was off the bag. Yeah. It's, yeah, fuck. this is Sandlot. I his just looked at him and went, going to be on the bag. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? Who cares? Uh, I love baseball, though. I want to go to uh, another Round Rock Express game. I know they're playing the Chihuahuas again. So I want to go to that. Going to end up going to a lot of Chihuahuas games, aren't uh, we? Well, you got to see the, the future Padres. The Padres <laughs> of tomorrow today. Where are they based out of? El Paso. El Paso Chihuahuas. Yes, sir. We have... Have you ever told the story of Miles Straw on the I, podcast? Have we will talked any, about it on the podcast? Will anyone g even care? I don't know. I like the story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go like for it. it Go for okay, it. Okay, so one time, it was the first game we went to. Yep. Big outing of, like, uh, mostly, like, it was um, a lot of people in animation. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and me. And, and so, Eric, Eric and friends. <laughs> um it, it snowballed into this thing. It was like, hey, we want to go to a game. And then, like, we're talking about it, and everybody wants to go. Yeah. And then I'm having to call and get group rates for tickets. And now I'm on we a got mailing our, list. We got our name on the board. Oh, so <laughs> it was like, so Welcome Rooster Teeth Animation. <laughs> <We went>, <laughs> <laughs> but uh it was a big group of us on like the uh in a like three rows of about like eight deep yep. of uh of us on the first base side mm -hmm. and uh future cleveland guardians uh left center, fielder center fielder oh center fielder mm -hmm. miles straw who was then in the astros organization yeah uh and also their best player uh <laughs> gets on first base and um I forget what happened exactly. He, I don't know if it was like a, a pass he, ball or a wild pitch. Yeah, he like attempts to steal and yeah, it's a foul. He kind of he kind of got got caught between two minds. Yeah, and uh, and 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 like didn't didn't run and like <laughs> one of the best things about going to baseball games, especially minor league games, is just yelling at them uh -huh. <laughs> oh, <I know. laughs> and going, "Come on, you can do." It. You're not gonna make the Astros doing that. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, that's brutal. I, did he end up trying and getting thrown out? So, what happened? so he, so the balls fouled off or whatever, and he has to go back to first. And I stood up and I just started giving it to him. <laughs> There's no way you're stealing second. Absolutely not. Get real, dude. No way. Eric's no a chance. little used to going to major league games where, where he's a, not a ten lot, feet away. A lot further. Uh -huh. um, screaming at this guy next dude you're gonna get beat up next pit no way they, i got netting they're never gonna find me um <laughs> next pitch he takes off <sighs> he's hustling he's hustling and he gets gunned down <laughs> <laughs> just started what did i say i told eric why told you he stands up brushes himself off and just looks at me and i just start going i'm sorry <laughs> Used to being way further away, man. Not used to you being able to hear me. I apologize. <laughs> not real. Figured this was me just yelling and not a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but ever since, ever since we've watched Miles Straw, Miles Straw's career yep. with uh, great interest. Um, yep. He got called up. I think later that year. Yep. Got sent back down. Yep. Then got called up again, mm -hmm. and then got traded to Cleveland. And still starting to this day. He's a starter but, uh, on the Cleveland Guardians. But we were always like, I think the name of our group chat for a while was Miles Straw, Public Enemy Number One. <laughs> <laughs> but you won't watch the rehearsal. I was just thinking, that I was thinking this is the cringiest moment ever. I'm participating. Do... <laughs> uh, when on Sundays, Saturdays, uh, there are some home games where minor league baseball is just trying to get you to buy more stuff and please come to a game, please yeah. come to a game, please come to a game. Come look at our dog. That they're, is the, the yeah. bat boy. So they're like. They get a cloned cat there. <laughs> they're like, they'll, they'll change their jerseys yeah. or they'll change their team name. Right now oh, they keep man. becoming like the hairy men. 
And they look like Captain yeah, Caveman there's, kind of there's thing. There's the Harry Men. That, there's the, there's the, the, the flying uh, chonklas. Like it's yeah. that, that the jackrabbit sometimes. Yeah. Or so the what jackalopes, they, I mean. So what they usually change it to is the Round Rock Chupacabras. Yeah. Terrible look. It's it, The jersey looks terrible. The mascot all, looks all terrible. All the other minor league teams have great, yeah. like, uh, Copa, uh, uh, yeah. Mexican the mar- uh, Like El Paso secondary Margaritas names. or whatever. Yeah, like, the flying cool chupacabras stuff. are yeah. great. Uh, so they're the Chupacabras, and it just doesn't look good and yeah. whatever. But when you get... A choop on third, you have to stand up and salute because you have to bring home our choops. Bring home our choops. So you're just standing up going, bring, bring our choops, choops home. home. And then hopefully somebody hits one into the outfield. Yeah. And then a lot of also shouting, support our choops. <laughs> <laughs> now that's something I could get behind. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Yeah, you make your own fun at those because yeah. the games aren't usually that <laughs> The beer good. helps. Yeah. Yeah. Sports yeah, and puns. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Amazing. Wednesday, dollar hot dogs. I love hot dogs. Well, dollar hot dogs. What time been? Wednesdays? Uh, Wednesday evenings. It'll be 7.05 mm-hmm. start. 7.05 Ooh, kickoff. Okay. Hey, I got a great in on uh, group rates if we want yeah. to oh, get yeah. a group together. I'll, we got an idea for something I got we a contact. Do. I love live sports. <laughs> yeah. Like, and like being there, like doing an Austin FC game. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, those things so rule. Yep. I, need to, I need to get tickets again. We went to one game and it was a blast. Oh. We have, uh, me and Jordan have season tickets with yeah, Brian. And Brian. He, is, he isn't here. Uh, oh. Brian's not here today. He was on the calendar invite. Sorry. Uh, Nicholas is punching the show. Thank you, Nicholas. Hi, Nicholas. Uh, uh, <laughs> we go to uh, Austin FC games, and they're a fucking blast. I met Brad Stuver at uh, RTX. Yeah. Yeah. He's a cool dude. He came to RTX. Obviously, he was at Extra Life, mm-hmm. kicking the balls into Michael and Gavin. And I think we were talking about if we do that again this year, Joe might be uh, oh, the recipient oh. of some kicks. Man. Uh, he's down. But yeah, Brad Stuver, one of the nicest people. Yeah, coolest dude. Great. And he loves our community, too, which yeah. is great. Yeah. He's a great goalkeeper. He's like, I just told him, like, I'm so glad that there's a team here and it feels like a community and there's a I'm guy great. who is yeah. like that thing. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. like in first or was, second in like the whole league. It was, Damn. I'm glad yeah. I'm glad they're doing well this year because I was just <laughs> glad. Yeah. I was glad for soccer in yes. general. Yep. I didn't care how good or bad they were. We went and suffered through some bad ones yeah. last season. Oh, so yeah. that, uh, it's been a lot of fun this year. So yeah. we're going to see some uh, World Cup games in Next go around, 2026. Oh, hell yes. Yeah. Uh, we're like in this, like, tr- in the middle of this yeah. triangle yeah. of like Houston, Guadalajara, or uh, uh, Monterey, and Houston, yeah. and even Guadalajara. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got to, yeah, we definitely got to check it out. We got to figure it out. Like, North American, mm-hmm. yeah. real close. Yeah. We'd fucking drive to Houston. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No problem. Um, I thought you were talking about like watching them. No, uh, no. Oh, you, you yeah. Wanna watch, you want to watch the, them the, in, no, it, in November? It feels weird that it's not going on right <laughs> yeah, now. Exactly. We should be like close to the finals at exactly, this point. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I am glad that it's not happening during RTX because that's always hard. Yeah. When when the World Cup. Yeah. Like, I always miss the semifinal games because they're always the weekend of RTX. Mm. But it's also every four years. So <laughs> now, now Christmas is just getting away. <laughs> Do you remember we watched the World Cup uh, in our office? A yeah, that was ago. great. Uh, that was ago. that was the uh, the Brazil one. It was Brazil. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, was, that was great. I liked Wait. having a TV in our office because then everyone wanted to come and <laughs> hang out with us. <laughs> Put a TV in your office. We we do. Oh, turn it on. Put on Simpsons. Oh, we should do that. Just, it starts just right put it on FXX. World Cup starts right before Thanksgiving. Wow, really? Thanksgiving's think, on the twenty fourth. I think it starts on the twenty first. Friday, wow. Friday, the day after Thanksgiving is USA versus England. Wow, really? Yeah. Oof. Oh. We, oh, it's gonna be a good sorry, one. Gavin. There are games on the twenty fourth. I know it's coming home. We filmed a video in our yeah, office to today. <laughs> we filmed a video in our office today mm-hmm. where uh, we use like a wide angle lens to like capture the whole audience because we were doing this thing where don't want to give it away, but we were blindfolded and trying to hit each other with stuff. Cool. And Gus and John collided. Collided, and Uh-oh. Gus like injured his hand. My hand oh. fucking hurt. We like oh. wrapped yeah. the video, and he's just like, I think I hit like someone. I think that's why. That's why I went, that's why I went to go look for ice earlier because <laughs> yeah. I was gonna ice. Uh, well, it doesn't matter how clean that ice is if you're. Just, well, it, there was none. That's why I filled uh, it up so I have ice to ice my injury. Take a drink. Yeah. No. Sip up. No. Now I want to go look in that thing and clean it. It's everywhere. It, I think it's nothing super disgusting. Okay. I think it's, it's a lot of as you mildew and things floating. Oh, uh, ugh. Mm, that sounds pretty gross, Gus. It's pretty gross. Floating is rough. That's that's bad. Um, I I I, I had a Twitter oh, conversation. We should also with, talk about our fridge at some point too. Oh, we should. I had a Twitter conversation with Brian Gar this morning that kind of went off the rails. And it was my fault. <laughs> he was talking about are you guys co-tweeting. He, he was <laughs> no, we are not. <laughs> Except tweet. Except <laughs> yes. Except yes, my yes tweet. to tweet. Yes to tweet. Yes to co-tweet. <laughs> he, Sorry. he was talking about how great steering wheels were. 
Oh, yeah. And like how, you know, we nailed it with that one from the beginning. No yep. notes. <laughs> Can you imagine if steering wheels were yokes instead? Like, well, pilots? Then I, I, I sent him a reply that said, uh, the other day I was looking at uh, photos of planes from the 20s, and there's like a photo of a plane that has a steering wheel in it. Mm. To control the plane. Does it also go forward I th- and back? I assume it okay. does. It would have okay. to, right? Yeah. Because uh, how are you controlling the other the other axis? But then I, I started going down a rabbit hole with the reason I had looked up that photo and the reason I was looking at that photo the other week is it was a photo of the second woman to ever solo fly a plane in the world. Her, oh, her what's name, her name? Her name was Bessica Raich. Uh, Bessica? That's a cool Bessica. name. Yeah. The first woman to ever fly a plane solo Bessica. did it 11 days before her. So just barely beat her. What's uh, her name? Bessica. But the, the interesting thing about Bessica was, but her name? She <laughs> built her own plane. What? And she never received lessons on how to fly a plane. Dude, Bessica, so fuck you. Or second, like Bestica. Dude, could you imagine the second doing woman pilot ever? She built a plane and then flew it. <laughs> wow. Hope this works. That's Damn. awesome. <laughs> And Dude, she, that's so cool. And she did it successfully. Like, we should start naming people Bessica again. <laughs> oh my God, that's Bessica. awesome. People pro- that. probably just call her Bessie. Mm-hmm. So uh, it was it, uh, beep beep Bessica. Nineteen <laughs> ten. I want to put B in wow. front of everyone's name now. Wow. Barrett. Barbara. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Bus. laughs> Borden. Uh, but yeah, um, that's a dairy so company. The, <laughs> the, the, the uh, Bessie. There you go. The, yeah, they're, the, they're, they're mascot. Cow, they're yeah, cow. yeah. <laughs> you drive by oh, no, it sometimes. Is it Bessie or Elsie? Mm. Um, Elsie. Elsie. It's because she's married to. Do you know canonically? Oh God, the, we're like, getting into milk lore. Canonically, the cow from Borden Milk is married to the cow from Elmer's Glue. Aww. What? That's so sweet. What? Yeah. Con- How could con- cows be married? Canoni- <laughs> <laughs> canonically, those mascots are uh, are a couple. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, we have... Somebody a bo- should do something. Yeah, did they have a ceremony? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I like that one. That was good. Um, <laughs> we, Eric should have said, move. <laughs> this sucks. We have a broken fridge in our office. Yes. Well... Well, not broken. It was separate. unplugged. Why? What, what do you mean? It, it holds. It holds food. So it was. Uh, we have a power strip that has the lights that are connected to our streaming setup in our room. Yeah. And I guess... The fridge that we use is also in that power strip. But I think to turn off the light, someone just went ahead and turned off the power strip. Oh. Cameron. One way to do it. Probably Cameron. <laughs> Sorry, I have something in my throat. COVID. <laughs> <Sorry>. Milk. <laughs> I would hope not. <laughs> no, definitely not. I have not been out. <laughs> so uh, it's plugged into the strip. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then someone, so someone, someone unplugged it. Unplugged it. This okay. was on a Thursday. Mm-hmm. Unbeknownst. To us, it was unplugged or like not working. And Chris put his poke in the fridge on Thursday. Wow, the worst thing you could put in there. The next day, he ate his leftover poke. Wow, the worst thing you could eat. <laughs> and I, I haven't heard of him getting sick. No. Was he okay? Yeah, I haven't heard. Any, that was on Friday? Last week, yeah. yeah. And nothing seemingly came of it. And then when we found this out, I said, Chris, did you not notice your poke wasn't cold? Yeah. And the reply was, huh, I guess not. Oh, fuck. There's also Come other on. stuff in that fridge, including a container of strawberries, which we, I took them, held up. we took them out. They were not strawberries anymore. <laughs> they were, it was a, a completely different species oh, no. that had come out of that fridge. Oh, there was no morphed. strawberry left. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, and there was some other food in there. It was just, it reeked. We have trouble with mini fridges. At this company. Yeah, fridges are not our friend. <laughs> Jesus. Strawberries gone. I am what remains. <laughs> no more. Wow. Uh, I just want people to know Gus is holding ice to his hand. Is your it's, hand it's, it's okay? Hurt. No, it just hurts a little bit. It's fine. Still? Yeah. Did you, did you fracture a bone? It's, it's probably just bruised or something. Jeez. Well, you it's can't cast fine. that, so you'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. One way or another. Gotta heal. Yeah. <laughs> so I immediately took my ring off and I was like, uh, just in case it swells. That's let's, smart. Let's get That's this smart. off my hair, put it on another finger. Yeah. That's good thinking. That's fine. Dang. Uh uh. But yeah, the ice is still good. It's still cold. You just don't need it. Man. Um, yeah. So Chris, our special, our special little boy. He was he was a little bummed because he finished his work ice cream the other day and he hasn't. Oh man, he needs got a more of work ice cream. Right. Work ice cream. His, his work ice cream's all gone. Does he ever think about maybe bringing his home ice cream to work no, just to fill the gap? That's home. Right, but cream. then he can. It's more easy to like he pick it up on the way home. Work ice cream. Oh. I guess yeah. they're different flavors. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even different brains knowing Chris. His his ice cream thing is fucking crazy and real. Like 
It really is. He eats ice cream every day. It's probably why the poke didn't affect him. You, know? <laughs> you ever seen those videos where you have a little kid mm-hmm. and the person, like their parent, is filming them on their iPhone, and they put candy or some something sweet in front of them, and they're like, "Don't eat this. I'm gonna, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Like, don't eat it." And then they leave the room, and then you get to see what the kid does. Mm-hmm. We want to do that with ice cream with Chris. <sighs> Such a good idea. We oh. want to put ice cream in front of him and be God. like, don't eat this until we get back. A fucking great idea. It'd be just like watching a little kid, like yeah. struggling with their inner demons, like trying to get close and <laughs> yeah. not actually doing it. He would just eat it. He'd be like, he fuck would. you. You're not my dad. Yeah. <laughs> well, he wouldn't if you if you framed it as this is my ice cream I'm going to eat. Yeah. Oh, That's don't true. touch it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he is... Such a little fiend for snacks. Like, mm-hmm. if you ever have a snack or something, he's just fiend. like, he's like, ooh, hey, <laughs> what you eating? There was can I, can I have some? <laughs> a time we were filming, I think, at Blaine's house uh, for, like, a, so this is before we were back in studio. Mm-hmm. Like, during the pandemic when we would film once a week at someone's house. And it was around Halloween, so Blaine had a bunch of, like, leftover oh. Halloween candy. Oh, Jesus. And Chris went home. He He was just like... Do you have any like leftovers? He went home with a bag full of candy from Blaine's house <laughs> that he just. Well, now he has home candy. Home candy from <laughs> Blaine. Great, fucking normal. I like how regular that is. What he, a regular and he normal. Will thing. Always take leftovers too. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, well, that's I, mean, you I mean, that was. I mean, yeah. That was us when we did that for Face Jam. Yeah, the Face like Jam. Like the lasagna thing you guys did. Yeah. Yeah. When we went to Fazoli's, and yeah. he was like, "Oh, I love Fazoli's." And of course like, he does. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, he went home with like six lasagnas. Yes, yeah, he, did. he did. Yeah, or because we started. Once, we started one. eating them, and we just all right. Uh, we started <laughs> eating them, and we just went. Well, I'm not going to eat all this Fazoli's. It's Fazoli's. Yeah. Let's get real. Like, get fucking real. Please. Honestly, it hit the spot. It was very salty, but... It's incredibly <laughs> salty. Fast yeah. food, Italian food. What do you expect? Yeah. What can, whoa. <laughs> that Fazoli's is fucking... That, what a weird spot that that thing Oh, y'all... Oh, yeah, yeah. Do oh. you know about the weird one? We like, talked about it. Fucking, yeah, yeah. Fucking insane. I remember when y'all were planning that, and I think Mike and I were talking yeah. about, like... What when is, when Eric sent me the address, and I was like... I'm not going to say anything. This I is, just hope he's sure about this. It's like a <laughs> business park. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's really... It, the Fazoli's... Actual Fazoli's is about the size of the set here. Yeah, it's you not. walk in and it's this big. It's really it's, small. It's people going, hey, you found us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's their greeting. It is weird. It How'd is you weird. get here? Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, hey, you did it. Yeah. It's when, Fazoli's. Before Rooster Teeth, when I used to work at the other company, when I worked at the building downtown at 6th and Congress, mm-hmm. there was a Fazoli's on Congress, like mm-hmm. at 7th or 8th and Congress, like right around there. I remember I went there like once. Yeah. And it was like, uh, that oh, was enough. Yeah. That, and I know what this place is about now. There's no need for me to ever come How back. How are they here still again. in business? Oh, they're huge. People like Chris. Yeah, I, I and, think that, and Nick. I think old people really like it. Okay. They call them experienced eaters. They do, and uh, they give them discounts. Well, yeah, it, it's because that, maybe that explains the extra salt. Like they need extra yeah, it's salt flavor, to taste it. Yeah. It's also drive-through. You can drive through for spaghetti. That's <laughs> the way I like they also going have, high Italian. They also have like wings. <laughs> it's such a weird. It's a fucking kooky place. Yeah. Weird place. Yeah. Oh. We should mention it so that people stop sending it to me. Uh, the uh, Wendy's. Oh, did you know? Yeah. Wendy's, did you hear? Wendy's. We have not done Wendy's in a very long time for Face Jam. Uh, because the greatest thing I think we've ever eaten on Face Jam is the pretzel pub uh, oh, burger or yeah. whatever. Greatest it, thing, like, legitimately? Oh, yeah. I loved it. Okay. It was me and Michael would, like, I thought it was it. fine. <laughs> high it praise. It didn't blow my... It didn't, high praise. It score? is high praise, but it didn't blow me away. I think I put it in the high 70s. And what Deserved you the 90s. 90s uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're bringing it back, and it's like in like August, I think. They're like a memo leaked or whatever, <sighs> and all we keep going, yeah, we, just, like, keep, it was we weird. just keep saying, "Face Jam did it." It's true. Yeah. It. We we uh, we did episode. mention it on the episode coming yep. out this week. Yep, and uh, it's uh, very serendipitous. That it is. It, it, it got announced. That you think whoever leaked then. the memo also leaked our anima audio from our kids? Wow, probably. Ooh, anyway, same side job. Anyway, I'm ready to eat to eat this. Are hamburger. you going to eat the pretzel burger with that? I think that should be a rule with Face Jam. We you might. have to eat everything with that fork. We might. Mm. With a switch fork. Man, switch fork is... I'm just glad I have my own now. Is that... Dangerous. So I don't know if we're allowed to talk about it. Could that be sold everywhere? Because yes. aren't there some states that don't... Don't worry about it. That... Hey, Barbara? Yeah. Stop asking questions. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yes, sir, <laughs> fork man. Sir. <laughs> I remember a lot of conversation about, can we sell these at RTX? Yeah, anyway. I mean, I mean it's not a switch knife. And I, I go, what is this if not like four of them? Yeah, I know. Also, can we sell this shirt? Because we don't own the rights to either of these bands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Do we sell that shirt? Yep. 
<laughs> I think we're about to find out. Long sleeve too, right? Yep. From RTX. Oh, the long sleeve is so good. Yeah. I love this shirt. It shouldn't be Fucking here. Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, then if you don't, if you can't be here, then let's go. You are you telling me to end it? Yeah, you just said you don't. You shouldn't be here. All right. Well, let's end it then. Eric's, okay. Eric, Eric wants to end the podcast. Let's do it. All right. Um, I guess that's it. We'll see you guys next week. Oh, whoa. Yeah. A little early. Take it. See you next week. No, oh, go oh. back. See you next week. Bye. Now go back. <laughs> Hard cut.